Hello, uh, since the Burning Optic Twins has been honestly the hardest boss currently for me, I thought I'd share some ideas on how I went about fighting it solo with a level 31 character. Um, while I'm using this character, it doesn't make the fight any easier if one is level 50, as it really depends on the stats and gear. Of course, granted, level 50 um, characters will probably have access to higher stat items, but in the end, again, it really depends on the stat and gear. Um, so for the most part, being level 30 will really be the bare minimum for a manageable build. Okay, so the, the most difficult part of the fight really is the beginning when you need to control the infect consistently and as quickly as possible. I usually kill the tentacled and optic infected since they pose more of a threat later on while disabling the spine and cystic infected to limit the amount of infected that enter the room. Plus, the disabled zombies can help stop the twins for perhaps a few seconds to provide some breathing room um, now and then. One thing that I think it's important to keep in mind is that, and I only learned this during this fight, was that sometimes when the twins get stuck on the, the zombies on the ground, it may just launch a random 360 fly attack. Now this could have just been bad luck for me, um, but that's just something to keep in mind. And now when the twins launch their flies, you want to be moving at one direction as the flies will linger and form sort of like a wall of the opposing side. Even if the twins stop attacking, the flies uh, will still be present for pr perhaps like a second or so. I'm not sure about the actual numbers. Um, but it's also another thing to keep on moving with sufficient speed. Twins are, at least perceptually, um, faster than tw uh, tendrils, and so their AoEs, which in this case is the fire, can do most of the damage if you are not fast enough. This highlights really the importance of having good sprint stats, as poor duration and, and or cooldown really can inhibit a player from having an efficient endurance build against a painfully painfully fast enemy. Uh, you can also have jog um, if you know your jog is high enough. Uh, I don't know I don't know the equivalent of jog to sprint, but I would say like around jog equivalent to 80% sprint. Maybe 75% if if you um, want to go at it at a more challenging pace. But uh, overall this flaming optics twins fight is personally the most difficult boss fight yet for me at least and I actually enjoyed fighting it for the stress and, and anxiety that it gave ironically. Um, with that said I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and take care. Can reload. See if I can reload. Okay. Go on, stop running, stop All running, stop All these tips, I, I like it. I really like it. I didn't know this was a thing. I mean, bro, you're a pro now, so... Ah, oh, I got hit by a burn. Holy crap, I got lucky. I'm doing not reload, do not reload. Okay, shoot him again. I'm just controlling my sprint. Sprint control is super important right now. Don't get too Hold greedy it. in my shots. Run around the outside. Okay, good. It got stuck on a zombie. That's what I wanted. Oh, what the heck? The flies! The flies hit me! The flies hit me! The flies hit me! Okay, I got 60 no, health no, left. No. Oh, man. I believe this guy's immortal, but... Wait, I killed it! I killed it! Yes, let's go! Yo! Yo! Yo. Dude, <laughs> Dude, thank you for being here as my as a cheerleader, I swear. This is agony. This is agony. Yeah, I could tell. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. That's gotta be the longest fight. Rare Manberg, 590M. Dodge, mm. cooldown, weapon noise, radius, weapon aim, speed, I quit. <laughs>